tsunami, the drip of waves, the name Pieces be him, but it ain't my chain Yo, bitch, wanna fuck she heard I got fame I'll be playing these bitches, but I ain't no games I feel like a movie, I'm doing my thing Niggas say fit me, don't feel my pain what it do my service, it's your boy the Tsunami Chan. I'm back again with another video And in this video y'all, I will be telling y'all the do's and don'ts of wearing reps Because some people be having the game twisted Like they be going overboard when they be wearing reps Like they be disrespecting the game of wearing reps yeah. Like, so y'all gotta, I'm just gonna break down the key points of what y'all gotta do Sorry, When y'all wearing these UA sneakers or replicas or anything Because people don't understand, like what you gotta do, like how to maintain yourself when you wear these or when you have them in your possession. Cause people think, oh, they look, they look just like the real shoes that they gotta, you know, break the rules a little bit. Nah, you gotta keep yourself up. But hey y'all, run this video up, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the video, man. Hey, what how many likes do I want this video? Man, get this video to get this video to we gonna say, I'ma say 200 likes. Nah, that's too low. But hey, no, nah, get this video to 700 likes. But that's what we gonna do. And yeah, y'all, hey, let's get into the video. I'm talking too much. I always talk too much. Why y'all let me talk so much? Let's get into it though. All right, y'all. So we gonna start off with the don'ts. The don'ts, what you don't do when you wear, like when you get reps. The first, the number one on the list, when you get reps, please don't sell them as real. Do not sell them as real. That's karma. That's how StockX had all those reps coming today. You know, coming to their building. They start selling reps. Now, look, StockX name bad for selling reps. You know what I'm saying? Even though it ain't nothing wrong with it, don't sell them as like, come on now, you getting over on people. Like you trying to sell some Air Force Ones, some off-white Air Force Ones for a thousand and you really got them for like 200. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do that. Only sell your shoes is real. Like, only do that. If they fake, give your give your man a deal. Like, look, I got these replicas, you know what I'm saying? I paid, I paid 250 for them, but for you gang, I give you for like 200, 150. Do something like that. You don't gotta, you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta be all okay. I got these reps, but they look real though. Nobody can tell. Don't try to sell them for like you know, like they real price, like a thousand or eight hundred or something. That's getting off, bro. Don't don't do nothing like that. So that's rule number one. Please do not do that. Don't sell your reps as real shoes, cause that's bad karma. Karma gonna come back to you. You do you ever do something like that? Karma gonna bite you in the ass. Don't so don't do and that. Number two, please don't wear weird fits with your reps. Like say you got some shoes that cost like three thousand, two thousand, but they replicas and you got them for cheaper. Please don't wear no basic fit with them. Because you wear a basic fit, then people gonna be like, his he got on a he got on a FUBU shirt. He got on a FUBU shirt with these with these Jordan ones off whites. The Chicago. Say you got some Jordan off white Chicago's on and you got a FUBU shirt on. They gonna look at you like, how you even get those? Like you got on a FUBU shirt, you got a Hollister, you got a Hollister Air Postal shirt on with some Jordan ones off-white Chicago's. Like, obviously people gonna know you wear reps if you do that. Like, so please don't do that because that that's gonna mess up your image, bro. Like, that's gonna ruin your image because people ain't gonna take you serious. They not gonna, you not gonna get as much compliments. People gonna just talk about you like, look at this dude fit. Like, you got on Hollister with, with some, some Jordan 11s. <laughs> like, come on, gang. Like, come on, gang. Don't do that, right. gang. Rule number three of don'ts. Don't, don't get your reps and say that you got them for retail. Don't lie to people, bro. Don't say, oh, I got these for retail, gang. We know you didn't. Them didn't even come out yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, with me... I didn't, I never really lied to nobody. I old, like, cause I don't, I have UA plug. So I got people that know how to make my shoes from scratch. Like these shoes were made for me. You know what I'm saying? So all the shoes, y'all can say I wear reps, whatever. I get my shoes made by a plug that used to work for Nike and Jordan and all of them. You know what I'm saying? He he has his own factory. So look, I, I know, I, I, I done came out and said what I get my shoes. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people be out here saying, I got them for retail, gang. I got these whoopie whoop whoop. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You went to you went to this little website that's in my bio. You went to the website in my bio, and you got them for, re, for 
the retail price. But they not the, you know, they not the real deal. But hey, I ain't knocking you. I ain't knocking you, but just don't pump fake. You know what I'm saying? Don't pump fake like they real. You know, don't pump fake. Just tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? The truth gonna get you out of life, man. You still gonna get more compliments than the dude with the real shoes or the dude that, you know, resell his shoes or whatever, the reseller. You still gonna get more compliments. Just keep it peak. The next one we got, if you got expensive shoes, like if you buy a, an expensive replica shoe, please make sure you not wearing like nothing cheap, like nothing weird with them. Like I already touched bases on this, but like don't wear a weak fit. Like I already, I already said this, like don't wear weird fits. Like don't wear weird fits. I don't have to get in this, like please, I just want to say it two times. I want to say it two times. Please don't wear weird fits with an expensive shoe. Like. Don't wear, like, don't wear Abercrombie. <laughs> don't wear Abercrombie with some uh, Air Mags. <laughs> like, like, bro, we know you don't got it. We know. But my bad job, please, please. I, I just had to touch base because that that be making me so mad. I'll be walking to the mall. I see a dude wearing these expensive shoes, but he got on Air Postal. <laughs> like, rules. Like, take it off. We, I know it's fake at this point. I know it's fake. I know it's fake. Hey, I just wanted to say that too. One more time. I just had to. I just saw the last one for don'ts. Never be scared to wear your shoes. Never be scared. Because you're going to get more compliments than the dude that spent all his money on his shoes. You're going to get more compliments. I bet you you walk around school, nobody ain't going to talk about you. If you wearing the shoes right, nobody going to talk about you. You're going to be smooth, gang. You, I promise you. Like, I put this on everything. I would never tell y'all a lie. If you go out and wear your shoes right with confidence, you're going to get compliments. And nobody not going to be worried about, like, you ain't going to have nobody a sneaker police. Oh, shoot, is those fake? Is those fake? Let me see them. If you do that, you don't have a life, bro. Because nobody not worried about shoes at that point. Like, you not fin nobody in school finna be like, oh, is these fake? You lame if you do that. And you're going to get more compliments than them. Like, they just, they just mad they don't got them. That's what it is. They just mad they don't got them. Let them hate. Hey, I was always told, if you ain't got no haters, then you ain't doing it right. If you got haters, that means you doing something right. You doing something they want to do. So they hating on you. So wear your shoes with confidence, man. Wear your right, shoes. So now we in dudes, the dudes of wearing reps. Now look, like I already touched bases on the last one. Rule number one, wear your shoes with confidence, y'all. Wear your shoes with confidence. Like, all y'all got to do is step in the room confident. The way you carry yourself, people going to be like, oh, yeah, we know, we we know, uh, we like his style. Even though you probably got on some replicas, they not going to know. You don't got to say nothing. Like, what I mean by this, y'all, wear y'all shoes with confidence. Like, you don't have to walk around and be like, I wear reps. Like, you know what I'm saying? But walk around with confidence. You don't got to tell nobody, like, hey, y'all, I wear reps. Like, if somebody come up and ask you where you get your shoes from, sure, my mama bought them for me. <laughs> My pops bought them for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't got to be like, I got them from this red website. I mean, if you don't got no shame in your game, though, if you ain't got no shame in your game, tell them. Oh, I got it from this website. Whoop, you whoop. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to save my money. You know, you only got to explain yourself. But just wear your shoes with confidence, y'all. Yeah, I'm looking at you right there. You that's looking at me, I'm looking at you. Wear your shoes with confidence. You going to get some compliments. Don't let that dude in school make you, you know, feel insecure. Wear your shoes with confidence, man. You, yeah, you. Get good quality reps. Nice quality so people won't tell. You know what I'm saying? You got to get the nice qualities. Because if you get some, some pool gazy, like, say, say, like, look, say right here, right? Say if you get a Jordan and this logo, and, like, the Jordan logo, and the dude fat and chunky, and he got a butt. He got a fat booty. They're going to be clowning you. Because, like, what you got, Fat Albert on your shoe or something? Like, you can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't do that. So get good quality. So you don't want nobody to clown your Fat Albert shoe. Now you got the Air Fats. You got the Air Alberts. Like, come on, bro. You got to you gotta have good quality. So make sure your shoes are good quality before y'all step out in this world. Because people in this world will get on your ass. They will get on you. Yeah, you. They'll get on you. So get some good quality. We don't want no Eric Alberts or who's running around here, man. When you get replicas, y'all, or y'all get UA sneakers or whatever, do y'all know y'all save money? You're saving your money. Like, you're not, you're only, the maximum you're gonna spend 
for a replica shoe was probably three hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. But you just wanted to, you wanted the black cats, so you wanted to waste eight hundred dollars on the black cats. You know the black cats is an all black shoe. You wasted eight hundred dollars. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I wasted eight hundred dollars. But we ain't talking about me. We talking about y'all. We talking about y'all. So don't be me. I wasted eight hundred dollars on some black cats. Some black cats. Come on, y'all. Y'all saving money when you do this. You saving money. And if it's good quality, nobody will know. And if you got a plug like me that make those shoes from scratch, that know what he's doing, that used to work at Nike, Jordan, Gucci, Prada, all the stores, and just went out and made his own, you gonna save some money. You gonna save some money. So y'all, if you, if you watching this, you gonna save some money. So save y'all money. Don't, don't break y'all pockets trying to look cool. You know what I'm saying? Don't go broke. Say you only got... Say you only got a thousand dollars in your bank account. Don't go broke trying to spend eight hundred dollars or nine hundred dollars on some black cats or some any shoes. Now you only got a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars in your bank account. Like no, you you don't. Like I feel broke with two hundred dollars, a hundred dollars in my bank account, bro. Like no, you don't go broke trying to spend your money on shoes. Cause I used to do that. I used to get paychecks. I used to get paychecks, twelve hundred dollars. I'm like, shoot, I'm finna spend 1100 on shoes. No, I save y'all money. Save y'all money. I get the early access to shoes. So you get the unreleased shoes before they even come out. And they in good quality. So you basically got the shoe already. Like everybody be waiting in line. Oh, we waiting in line. Wasting their time. Shoot, I already ordered them. I had them. I had them shoes two, three weeks ago. Why you waiting in line? Oh, you oh, you didn't hit on the raffle. Oh, you didn't hit on sneakers at. I already had them. I, I had them two, three weeks ago. That's another thing. When you mess with good replica websites, you will get the shoes early, y'all. You gonna get the shoes early. They they have good quality unreleased shoes. <clears throat> Look at this. These are hard. I got them early. My man's made them for me. I got them early. Yes, you can get shoes early. You can get unreleased shoes that look good. Yes, all the shoes y'all dream of, y'all, you don't got, I don't, I didn't have to wait in line to get these. I don't have to wait in line. I don't have to ever wait in line. So save your time, you know what I'm saying? You can get the shoes early, early access. Well, uh, and this the last one for dudes. You're gonna get the shoes that everybody dreams of. Like, look, somebody could want some Air Mags, right? Some Air Max, or no, no, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be more reasonable. Somebody could want the Travis Scott Reverse Mochas, right? But don't got the funds. You got them because you bought the. You went to the Rep website and bought them, or the UA website and bought them for cheap. And then that dude sitting, you got them on walking through school, while that dude sitting there like, damn, I wish I had them. How you get them? Yeah. You trying to you trying to look you trying to spend all your money on the real deal when you can get them right now. You know what I'm saying? You can get them off this rep website. You feel me? So you will have all the shoes people dream of because they don't got the money to do it. Then boom, you got them. Now they waiting, now they looking dumb while you walking around school with the fresh, the fresh mochas on, the fresh kicks on, the fresh Jordans, the new Jordan, the military, the military black fours on. And they wishing they could have them because they don't got the money. They their parents don't got the money. But hey, you got them though. Because ain't no shame in your game. Because you you gonna rock them, you gonna get the shoes off the replica websites and rock them joints with confidence. So hey, the last one, you gonna be having shoes that people dream of. So rock your shoes with confidence, y'all. Don't be ashamed. Just rock y'all shoes. All right, y'all. So that's the end of the video. I just gave y'all a list of the do's and don'ts of wearing reps. And yeah, y'all, just be confident. If you wear if you wear reps, be confident, man. Like, shoes are shoes at the end of the day. What I just found out, I found out this from a dude that I, that make my shoes my plug. He told me this. He's like, wait. He's like, look, these shoes that I make, because he used to work at Nike. He used to work at Nike, Jordan. He used to make shoes for all them 
top brand companies, right? He was like, wait, I'm finna start my own fact. I'm about to get my own factory and make these shoes. You wanna you wanna uh promote them for me? I'm like, sure, yeah, yeah. He was like, look, these shoes cost $30 to make. $30. These shoes cost $30 to make. Y'all spending, y'all spending thousands and thousands, hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a shoe that costs $30 to make. And them companies profiting big time off y'all. When y'all can go to these Red Booker UA companies and spend 200 retail on a shoe that costs $30 to make anyway. You feel me? So y'all gotta be smart. Shoes is plastic. They will, like, bro, if I get a knife and stick it in this shoe right now, and then I get a knife and stick it in the, the, the real shoe, it's going to be the same outcome. So y'all got to know, like, y'all got to be smart. Spend y'all money wisely. Shoes are shoes. Shoes are shoes. If it's the same material, it's the same thing. Like this shoe right here, I got it early. This is the same material. Or if even if it's better, it's the same material as what y'all got. You feel me? Same material. Same material. It's just my plug made them. And he used to work at Nike, so he knows how to make the shoes. So, hey, just walk around. Hey, y'all just got to be confident, man. Y'all just got to be confident. But, hey, like, comment, subscribe. Run this up. Follow me on Instagram at the Tsunami Tribe. Follow me on TikTok. I know I was talking to her. I know I was talking to her. But, hey, follow me on Instagram. Like, comment, subscribe. Run this video up. Get this video to, like, 700 likes. I'll I do 700. I'll just take 700 likes. But, yeah, where, where are y'all shoes, man? Like, comment, subscribe. Run this video up. Stay wavy, and we out. Cause I got these racks in the bank, uh, feeling like an anchor cause these racks made me sink, uh, wanna be the way it see it's hard so they can't, shoulda played hockey cause my neck like a rink, when it's hot it's a lake, uh, drip I'm a star, 